Hello, everybody, and welcome on Calling All Retro Gamers. I'm your host, Ed, and today we're going to talk about the new Steam Deck OLED, and if you should upgrade, uh, this is part of my Steam Deck journey. You can see I have uh, the base model behind me. We're going to talk about that, and then at the end, you can come to a conclusion if it's worth an upgrade for you, and I can tell you if it's going to be worth an upgrade for me. So let's go ahead and get started. Calling All Retro Gamers. All right, so I wasn't surprised by the news. Anybody who's followed uh, content creators like Fan the Deck, uh, you know, has known for a while now that uh, Valve has gone off, and uh, they went ahead and they got these certain patents, like on Wi-Fi six, you know, OLED screen, some other things. So we kind of knew that, like Nintendo, that Valve was going to do a revision of the Steam Deck. We knew that hey, it wasn't going to be faster CPU or GP or anything like that, but we knew there were going to be some upgrades. So let's go ahead, and I want to talk about that. And take a look here. Ooh. <laughs> and this is a, from the official Steam store. So, yeah, I wasn't surprised that this is coming at all. Uh, first, I want to talk about the price points and what you get. So, I do like that you still have the LCD model. You have the model that I have. And just a, for full disclosure here, I should mention that I do have the 64 gig model. I did pay $399 for it. When it had come out, I think I've had it now for, gosh, about, like, you know, a little over a year. And I have been rocking it with just a 512 uh, gigabyte micro SD card. I haven't done any upgrades to it yet, just to kind of give you a baseline. So I do like that we still have the 399 price, but you get 250 gigabytes uh, NVMe SSD. That would have been huge. I kind of wish that because uh, at some point, I think I am going to possibly upgrade. I don't know. I still have like 300 gigs free on that um, uh, on that drive here. So. I don't know. We'll have to see. But you pretty much get all the same stuff as before. I like how they still kept that. Now for the OLED model, that's 549. Minimum is 512 gigabyte, which is good. And really the other thing that you're going to get is Wi-Fi 6 and, you know, 50 watt battery. So kind of depending on what you play, make it a little bit more battery life. And I'll kind of talk about my use case. I'll kind of really see what that translates to. And then, of course, for the 649, you know, you, you get... You get one terabyte, you get everything, you get like the special keyboard and exclusive startup, all, all that other nonsense I don't care about. And I think you get the anti-glare etched glass, if that's, if that's the thing. But what I do really like is this limited edition. <laughs> I like how the, the way that it looks and how, oh, check that out. And the smoky, uh, you know, the smoky black and anything. If anything, the thing that I like about the most is it comes all assembled and everything with an official, uh, um, you know, transparent, uh, kind of cool smoke looking, um, you know, ca uh, case on it, but it's, but it's official though. You don't have to take apart your steam deck. You do not, you don't have to swap it out. I really like that. And another interesting thing too, is that they dropped the 512 model to, uh, to 449 and then the 64 gig model to 349 while supplies last. So these are going to be phased out and these are going to be the new, the new offerings, which I like. Man, that just that looks really cool. It looks like even the base model here is just gonna have the red, the red button. Uh, but yeah, I I love the smokiness. If anything, for me personally, I, I love the way that this looks. I I, I kind of wish I could just like snap my fingers, and um, you know get this put on my Steam Deck. Yeah, I love I love that appearance. Maybe I'm more excited about the appearance on the screen. And then where did I see here that I think as far as the price range, it was only going to be like thirty dollars more. Ah, I forget where that is. So really, for the limited edition, you're not paying too much more. It just kind of depends if that's something that you want. So let's go ahead and break this down. And I do want to talk about, you know, my ga my gaming habits. So for me, I mainly play indie games and uh, retro games via emulation using Emu Deck. I, you know, I've really dove into that pretty heavily. And I'll talk about that more in a future video. Otherwise, I don't play any AAA games. So probably like maybe the most intense... Um, game that I play is maybe something like Tetris Effect, which I, I still get four hours out of like, you know, tweaking the settings and everything. Uh, Hades, I think on a, on a full, on a full charge, I, I get over, I get over four hours and all that. So depending on what I play, I get four to six hours of battery life. And for me, that's fine, right? I can go in. I, I should mention, I have the cry utilities uh, set up on it, which if you haven't, you need to do that to your deck. And that's using the 64 gig, uh, you know, my, uh, boo the 64 gig model, but I have Simlinked. I've moved a bunch of stuff like shader cache and all that over 
uh, to my micro SD card to make more room. You know, so I've got I've, you know, I've got all those tweaks and and, and everything, and I still have a little bit of space to, uh, to spare, but it's you know, it's it's getting tight on the OS side. Anyways, so yeah, I'm not playing I'm not playing the, the, these these AAA games. Uh, if I can get like four hours of battery life, I'm 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 happy. And so every kid behind me, I get around like three and a half four hours of battery life. So I mean, that's the benchmark. I do get I do get more, so no complaints on that. So let's talk about the battery life. Let's let's talk about um from the forty from the you know. From the from the forty to the fifty, so really uh, with the, with with the with the fifty watt it it says three to twelve, and then of course you know it says that's dependent upon gameplay. I'm th- because with the forty they're saying two. To, I'm thinking that depending on your gaming style, like I think for me if I had the fifty watt that would maybe be another two hours, maybe you know, and I think I'm being generous. I think realistically it's going to be another one to two hours depending on what you're doing. Uh, more battery power is nice, but for me that's not that's not a reason. Uh, to upgrade alone, uh, the Wi-Fi six. I don't really care about that because I don't do a lot of online gaming. And if I did, I have the dock. I can just plug it into that, and I can and I can get the speed. So, not a big deal. Um, being able to have more uh, NV, you know, the NVMe SSD that you can pop in an upgrade. So the big elephant in the room is the OLED screen, right? So I play mine exclusively in handheld mode. I know a lot of people complain about the screen. I love the screen of the Steam Deck. I have no complaints. Um, sure, would I, you know, would I maybe want to upgrade it? I don't know if that's going to be possible. Uh, and going ahead and upgrading, um, maybe for a hundred dollars, if you if you could upgrade it, I would I would consider, I would consider doing that. Uh, although there's some of the redesigns, it does, you know, it, 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 you know, if you, if you look online on the documentation, it says that it does run cooler, has more thermal, uh, bigger fan, and all that good stuff. So I, I I I don't know. So for me right now, as it sits, it's 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 not worth it to shell out. Another, another 550 just for that. I, I, I'd rather spend a couple hundred, do some upgrades. Maybe all I need is a bigger SSD. Uh, I'm not saying the OLED screen isn't good, but for me and what I use it for for gaming, I am perfectly, I am perfectly fine with it. The question is, uh, if you don't already have a Steam Deck, then what do you get? I think if you don't have a Steam Deck, yeah, then you, you go for the the 512 gig OLED model uh, if it's within your budget because you're going to get a little more battery life. You will get that better screen. You haven't invested anything in that ecosystem. But here's the catch-22, though, that maybe some people aren't talking about. At some point, a Steam Deck 2 is going to come out. If we, We've seen this with just like, you know, this is just an upgrade. The Steam Deck 2 is going to have all of this, you know, plus probably more RAM, more CPU, better GPU, and, and all that. And I bet when that comes out in a few years or whenever it does, that, you know, it'll be around the same price. I, I did see some uh, rumblings out there where people are complaining about, oh, man, if I'd known, I would have pulled it off. or glad I did. Hey, this is technology. It happens from time to time, and it's always the risk when you buy and you get the first generation uh, of anything, right? Uh, for me, I don't regret uh, getting the Steam Deck. I'm, you know, I'm happy to have had it. I got it at the 3.99 price point. I like the direction of well, where Valve is going, and hopefully, some of the naysayers out there, you know, this will kind of like open open their eyes to hey, you do get more battery life, you do get a better screen. You know, what do you want, <laughs> and all that? So go ahead and comment below. Let me know uh, if you already have a Steam Deck, if you plan on getting a Steam Deck. Uh, what do you you know? What do you think of this news? And uh, before I should let you go here, I should mention that every two weeks, me and my buddy Retro Rich do a Calling All Retro Gamers podcast. We have guests. We talk about the latest video game news and everything retro related. And um, yeah, we'd really appreciate your sub. We're an up and coming channel. And thank you so much. Bye bye. Subscribe. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, you were close. Right. You were so close. Oh man, I feel like we're all gonna right. get it. Maybe next time.